Time for another quick look at the MLB playoff races going into Thursday, September 12th. Starting with the AL East, Yankees now the ones with the slight lead over the Orioles. While they fight over the division, both should be safe for the playoffs with just a couple more wins. As the computer says, 86 is the mark to aim for to at least get a wild card. The Red Sox are still in it thanks to the generosity of the Twins in particular. We will get back to that in a minute. It is Elimination Palooza Week. The Blue Jays are all but officially out with the Rays right behind them. As usual, the team rankings... Dot com projections are shown off to the side. Thanks to them for letting me use their data. In the AL Central, the Guardians back to a decent lead for the division and another team that just needs to show up at the ballpark a couple more times. The Royals holding a wild card spot, as are the Twins, but neither has a firm grasp on it. Again, we'll look at that in a minute. The Tigers are now back in the in contention club thanks to getting a few above 500 and the royals and twins limping along out west the astros division lead is back into the danger zone over the mariners best guess is that whoever gets to 84 wins will take the division the mariners have played good enough to stick around the wild card race angels have been eliminated A's are crossing that line soon. Rangers would need a miracle of all miracles. Now a closer look at that wildcard race. The Orioles obviously in the best shape with their record, and they do own the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over the Royals, Mariners, and Red Sox. Just need one more win to own it over the Twins, too. But the interesting one is they have yet to play the Tigers. They start their first series with them this weekend in Detroit. So for the Mariners and Red Sox, the Orioles could do a lot of damage to the AL Central teams. So probably some new Orioles fans in Beantown and the Pacific Northwest. The Royals head-to-head -head situation is settled. As long as they can just get a half dozen or so more wins, they won't have to worry about losing to the Twins. The Twins in a precarious position record-wise but they do own the head-to-head -head over everyone that might matter. The Tigers, if they can make a run, they do need some extra oomph to overcome their head-to-head -head problems against the Royals and Twins. The Mariners lost the season series to everyone but the Royals, who they tied. The Red Sox also have some problems in this department where they do somehow leapfrog a few teams. Before we hit the National League, if you want to analyze the playoff race and know what matters for your own fantasy or other league, check out the Playoff Computer app on the Play Store. It provides a bit of geeky data, including the semi-famous Paths to Clinch. For the National League, in the East, the Phillies have hit the 88 win mark to at least get a wild card and will win the division barring a monumental collapse. Mets and Braves in the thick of the wildcard race. More on that in a moment. The Nationals are at the elimination block party going on this week. In the NL Central, the Brewers are just a few away from locking up the division. Cubs and Cardinals still on the edge of the wildcard race. Doubtful, but can't count them out just yet while the Reds and Pirates are narrowing in on that whole being out thing. Back to the West, the Dodgers will be going on to the playoffs and likely as the division winner. Diamondbacks and Padres holding wildcard spots, but not safe from the Mets and Braves onslaught that might take one of them down. The Giants are about to take the cable car to elimination land. Looking closer at the NL wildcard race, particularly the head-to-head -head contest, Arizona with the two-game lead in the wildcard race, but they would lose the tiebreaker to both the Mets and the Braves were they to fall. Padres would lose to the Mets, but win against the Braves. 
And the two teams currently fighting for the last spot, Mets and Braves, play each other near the end of the season for a final series. Otherwise, the Mets own the tiebreaker over everyone else. The Cubs not only are five back on paper, but you could almost call that six as they haven't won the season series against anybody else shown. The Cardinals do have a couple notches, but six and a half back, three teams to overcome, basically just filling space on this chart without an epic run. That's it for now. Enjoy your day.